welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to use Photoshop Elements to create this brushed metal looking nameplate that you can put to identify your photos. Now I want to thank Alyssa Miller over at Flickr for letting me use her photo in the Creative Commons license. Now let's go ahead and get started. I have this particular image that I saved out as a PNG and that is what the final product is going to look like. So first off we need to go to our file menu we need to go to new and start with a blank file you can also use the command or control N so go ahead and click on that now if you want to follow along with me use my numbers because then it's gonna make a lot more sense now my width is 1600 my height is 400 pixels and my resolution is 300 pixels per inch now the background contents doesn't matter you can just leave it on white and then select OK now I have my layers palette it normally isn't over here but for the recording purposes I put mine over there now if we want to zoom in just a little bit so we can see it better we can hit the command or the control plus key and what that'll do is it'll zoom it in so that we can see it just a little bit better now the next thing we're going to do is we are going to go over into our toolbox and select the gradient tool which is this icon right there then we're going to go to the options bar which is this bar up here we're gonna click the down arrow and select this copper gradient because it's a great looking one for metal so go ahead and select it now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the gradient on there by clicking on the top left corner and we're gonna drag this a little bit off the screen over here onto the right hand side and let go and the reason we're going to do that is sometimes it puts a little bit too much of a harsh band right there I'm going to try this again click over here and put a little bit further off to the right and then there we go I kind of like that better where it ends with the dark here and the dark there the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the filter menu to add some noise so go to filter noise and add noise and then as you can see it's going to add some noise there now put it somewhere around 20 percent noise click on uniform distribution and check the monochromatic box and select OK now what we need to do is we need to take this noise and make it look like the brushed metal once again we're going to go to our filter menu we're going to go to blur and then we're going to select motion blur now I have mine set somewhere around 78 pixels you can do anything from 70 to about 80 depending upon what you want your brush to look like and then select 0 for your angle and select OK and so there we have it kinda nice brushed looking metal there now what we need to do is we need to add our text now go find a fun text so click on the text tool the horizontal type text tool now I have mine set at about 60 points click the down arrow and go find yourself a nice fun font I've got Melanie BT started on mine and I have mine set and centered right there for justification and then I'm gonna click somewhere around the middle of my image because I have center selected and I'm gonna type digital goulash and there we go and if you need to you can click on the move tool if you didn't get it quite centered where you want it you could go ahead and do that and move this right there now it's looking pretty good but it looks rather flat so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over into my t effects tab right there I'm gonna click the second icon over right there the layer styles and then from the drop down box I'm gonna select bevels now I've got the second bevel down selected the simple sharp outer bevel and then I'm gonna hit apply now this gives us a really goofy looking one it looks like a raised metal and not a uh, embedded metal there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the layers palette and I'm gonna double click on the FX button right there now I want mine to be beveled down and then I want to have a little bit smaller size because that does look quite a bit goofy got mine about seven and I'm gonna select OK now if you really want to see a good take a good look at this go ahead and hit command plus or control plus right there and you can start to see that this is starting to look really nice it looks like it's etched metal there if you want to bring it back to the original size you can hit control zero and that will put it back to the original size again now 
What we want to do is we want to make this nice rounded plaque looking thing right there with the transparencies. So in order to do that, we're going to have to unlock our layer. So go to our layers palette, double click the lock and unlock that layer. Now what we need to do is we need to grab a simple shape, which is the rounded rectangular tool right there. In the options bar, I've selected about a 30 pixel radius. And now what I want to do is I want to draw where our placard is going to be. So go ahead and just draw that around your letters right there and then let go. Now it really doesn't matter what color this shape is because we're going to move the shape anyway. So let's go ahead and go into our layers palette and drag that shape below the layer. Now of course you can't see it. The only thing you can see is the outline now. Now we're going to superimpose that color onto our shape by holding down the Alt or Option key. It's going to give you that little figure eight when you go between the two layers right there. And we're going to go ahead and click that and it gives us a nice looking image right there. Now if we want to change that color, we're going to go to the top. We're going to click on our text layer and then we're going to go to the adjustment layer which is the black and white cookie tool we're gonna to click that and we're gonna click hue and saturation okay in order to change the color let's go ahead and go to the adjustments tab right there let's click on colorize and then when we shift the hue we can shift that to maybe more of a gold color right there. Okay, if you don't want any color in that, you can always take the saturation slider and slide it to the left until there's no more color in it and it will give you that silver look. The last thing we need to do is go over here. We need to go to File and we need to do a Save As. And then from the drop down box right here, we need to pick under PNG. And then go ahead and save that out. Now I already have mine saved out as test. So I'm just going to click cancel and then I'm going to go ahead and close this out right there. Don't save. Now, as you can see, I have this with the transparency set right there. You can tell that by the checkerboard pattern, but we're going to take the move tool right there. And we're going to drag this onto any photo that we want right there. As you can see, it's kind of big right there, but it does give you the handles. If you're not on the move tool, you won't see the handles, but right now I can see my handles. I'm going to grab the corner and make this smaller. You can see that I've already done it here. I'm going to go ahead and resize this so that I have an identity plate so the people know who took the picture. And when I'm happy of where I want it and the size or scale that I have it, I'm going to go ahead and hit enter, and there you have it there is my identity plate on my particular image. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos, give me a like, give me a thumbs up and a favorite, and pass my link on to your friends. Cheers!